Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be about how to do something that would be pretty cool if you were using a colored clip art. I've, I've traced these. This was a fish clip art, and it's pretty pretty cool. It's a it is a JPEG, and it's a little bit fuzzy, but it traced really really good, good clean vector line. But they're so then you break it apart to get rid of the white background, but then you have all these different colors. And if you wanted to keep that theme with doing like grayscale or making some of them black, this would be my suggestion on how to do this. Go up to view. No, I'm sorry. Go up to edit, find and replace, find object. Now begin a new search next. I want to find the fields, the uniform fields, and hit next. I want to specify the uniform color. And when you click on this, you get the down arrow and you're going to get an eyedropper. So let's find all that color. Find next, finish, find all. It grouped all that color. Now I've got my nudge factor, nudge distance set on a little bit bigger than the object. So I'm going to move all those fish over and let's make all those fish black. Now let's go back here and go to edit, um, find and replace, find object, new search, fields, uniform fields, next, specify uniform color, hit the down arrow, hit the eyedropper. This time, let's do this orange. Next, finish, find all. We can close out that window, and now we can move those over, and we can make them a gray. And you could do that for the rest of the colors. Matter of fact, if you're happy with that, you could just group all these together and make them a little bit darker gray, and then move them over. And you would run the run this job, and that's a little bit too much of that color. So I would break them up into one more color, but at the same time of the video, I'm not going to do it. And this would be really cool to engrave either with color mapping or the way I do it uh, where you would offset and take some of the colors out of the picture. And I might even make a second video for that. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.